Exercise 3. Creating End Conditions End conditions are template components which are used to model cut and fill treatments. They are added to the end of a simple, constrained or unconstrained components. End conditions are created like any other template components. End conditions consist of template points and individual components that appear as a line segment. They are different than simple and constrained components because they have the ability to target surfaces, elevations, alignments and surface features. This exercise teaches how to create end conditions that target a surface. Also we're going to learn how to create a ditch where the internal sides of the ditch have no target location. First of all we're going to create a simple fill end condition. So we have our create template window open here and on the end conditions folder can you right click and select new template. The template is going to be called 1 colon 2 fill slope with ditch. Now on the dynamic settings window, you make sure you set your step for both X and Y to 0.1. In the create template window, just right click, add new, add new component, just right click, add new component and select end condition. Down in the bottom left hand corner of the create template window for the name of this template type 1 in 2 fill slope. The terrain model is the target and it is the active terrain model. The priority for now will leave as 1 and the feature definition can you select from mesh grading TC fill slope. Now on the dynamic settings window can you select the point name rail sub ballast. It should pick up the feature definition for that point but just make sure that it does and you can see the tooltip says that it does and the precision import is going to be set to XY and we're setting this as the origin point so that's 0 comma 0 and hit enter. Now you'll notice on the dynamic settings window you now get some different settings and these only apply to end conditions. First of all you get a tick box for check interception. What that means when this slope is extending do you want it to check to find the active terrain model. If you do and it finds the active terrain model place a point. Uh, the other one here is called end condition is infinite and end condition is infinite means the slope just keeps going and going and going until it finds the ground and you need an end condition is infinite in both the fill and the cut situation. And the other one is do not construct which means obviously don't construct the point. Now we're now going to change our point name and we're going to type this in to 1 colon 2 fill. We're going to pick a feature definition. Again we're going to go to grading and we're going to pick the uh, template point uh, TL end condition fill tie. The precision input that we're going to pick is VS. The value is going to be a vertical height of minus 1.5, minus because it's going below the point that it's, it's parent, and the slope is comma minus 1 colon 2. And again, that's because it's going down. And 
we're just leaving the end condition is infinite tick box unchecked and just hit enter right click and finish I'm now at that point just going to save the template library right we're now going to create another fill end condition so hover your point over the rail sub ballast point add new component end condition this is going to be a component name of one colon three fill slope again we're leaving the feature definition the same again we're targeting the terrain model and the active terrain model and again we'll leave the priorities one now don't forget that the first slope that we put in there the one in two fill also had the same priority so we're going to have to think about this in a minute now on the check boxes we're going to add the end condition is infinite so this slope is just going to keep going and going and going until it finds the ground the point name we're going to change to one colon three fill leave the same feature definition and VS is again minus 1.5 comma minus 1 colon 3 this time and again hit enter and right click and finish and again also at that point just save the template library the next part of this end condition and I'm just going to hit fit view here is to create the ditch so again I'm just going to hover my cursor over the rail sub ballast point right click add new component end condition the component name we're going to, just going to call this very simply cut ditch Again, we're going to target the terrain model, the active terrain model, and again, we're leaving the priorities one, which means all the three slopes that we're going to generate so far have the same priority. And the feature definition, we're just going to call this um, a TC ditch. Now then, on the dynamic settings panel, because we want it to create the inside slope of the ditch, we're not having ticked the end condition is infinite we don't want it to place a point because we don't want it to find the ground because we always want it to create this inner slope the point name from the list we're going to pick EC ditch in again it should pick up the correct feature definition again vs so the ditch as a height again going downwards of minus one which is a meter comma and an inner slope of minus one colon one and again hit enter so that creates the first inside slope of the ditch we're now going to create the ditch bottom okay so the point name we're going to pick EC ditch out this time the precision is going to be HS which is horizontal and slope and the horizontal distance of the ditch is half a meter which is 0 0.5 comma 0 for no slope and again none of the tick boxes are ticked because again I always want it to be able to create the bottom of the ditch and again hit enter now the last one is going to be our outside slope for the ditch and the name for this we're going to use EC cut tie and I want it to find the ground I want it to place a point where it finds the ground or the terrain model and I also want it, the end condition to be infinite and the value 
Again, it is VS for precision input. And we're just going to go for height of 1. It's positive because it's above the point, comma, and the slope is going to be 1, colon, 2. So it's going to be 1 in 2 slope. Again, hit enter, right click, and finish. And again, at that point, just save the template library. Now, currently, all the end conditions, if you remember, have the same priority of 1. Now, an end condition that has multiple slopes cannot have that. So there is a test button at the bottom. So we're going to test how this end condition works. And we're going to get a warning because all the priorities are the same. So select test. Here's the warning. This template has end condition priority conflicts. Use and check priorities to view and fix. So on the test end conditions, it says check the priorities box. Now here's our rail sub ballast point, which is at that location there, which is the start of all our slopes, and just select edit. You now have a decision to make. Which of these slopes do you want it to produce first? So I'm going to select the one in two fill slope as the one I want it to do first, which is priority one. I then want it to do the one in three slope. So that is priority two. And then the cut ditch is priority three. So let's go OK on that. Close the end condition priorities box. And here where it says use surface slope, and you can see that it says the available target is the active terrain. We're just going to draw a slope. This is an imaginary slope. And you can see now which of the end conditions it's producing first. So there is our one in two slope and that's going to go for one and a half meters at one in two and then when it gets beyond that point it's going to jump to the one in three slope and the one in three slope is just going to keep going and going and going because we said the end condition is infinite when we go above our rail sub ballast point it'll now introduce the ditch and our now end condition works so let's just go close and save the template library. And that concludes exercise three. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.